Hello everyone and welcome back to my Shadow Constructed Mars mission in Kerbal Space Program 1.3.1 and in this episode we actually try and do the full sequence of ion burns in order to get to Mars and back but it doesn't turn out quite right and we will be reverting this for a couple of different reasons which I'll explain during the video. But uh, that's a heads up but I needed the practice anyway. Ion engine burns are not you know normal burns and that's because they take like days to weeks and the maneuver nodes that we have in Kerbal Space Program right now assume instantaneous application of thrust that uh, doesn't quite work out here. That it takes a lot more pre-planning and I still need to sort of figure out exactly where to point the ship. It's actually tough to point the ship. Uh, you'll have noted that I had far up. The far window was up because I just wanted to verify that the heading was actually changing <laughs> because it turns so slowly that I wanted to make sure it was actually turning. So yeah, that's one of the difficulties. So the first of our burns is simply to escape the Lunar Sphere of Influence and we are not going to ever recapture into Lunar Sphere of Influence ever again. Um, not with the main mission plan. We were only parked around the moon uh, to finish up refueling here. In the future that will be done in high Earth orbit instead. But it still takes some effort to break orbit here. We have to make sure that the apoapsis is in line with the moon's orbit and that does mean that we are trying to exit lunar orbit well ahead of the transfer window to Mars but we have to do that because otherwise there's only one opportunity where our apoapsis is going to be really lined up with the moon's orbit every 28 days, 29 days, every month or so. Uh, so we have to take that opportunity when we can to optimize how much it's going to take. It takes about 100 meters per second to break orbit from this level. And we have to break orbit in such a way that we stay in Earth SOI because we want to do the exit burn to Mars in Earth SOI to get some benefit from being around the Earth. Um, going out into solar space and trying to do the burn there always costs more. And we're going to have to do that anyway. But eventually here, I realize that the ion engines are just not doing enough for us. And so I light the methane oxygen engines. We've got 30 kilonewton methane oxygen engines here. They get 360 seconds ISP, which is not much, but they at least relight. And so they're basically our OMS engines. Remember, the tugs also use the methane and oxygen. So I use those engines to do most of the burn. They don't provide that much uh, acceleration. It's about 270 times what the ion engines do, though but it's 270 millimeters per second squared, so mm, what's that in terms of G's? Uh, less than a third, no, no, less than 3% of 1G, so anyway, eventually we do the burn to try and rendezvous with Mars, but it's wildly off in timing, and that's the first reason why we're probably going to have to revert this, because I didn't see a way to correct this, and so I just had my timing off for exiting Earth's sphere of influence. Ultimately, I decided to just get to a Mars-like orbit, and so you can see there we're, we've basically got a circularization burn plotted so that we raise our orbit to a Mars-like level, which would simulate getting into Mars orbit. So there's sort of a sequence of burns here. First, we have to break Earth orbit and get to Mars, so Mars transfer. And then once we get to Mars, we have to make Mars orbit, but a loose one. We don't want to get too close. Uh, we'll have to allow the lander to do a lot of the business of getting to a lower orbit and then landing and then coming back. For now, we don't have the lander. We do have an Orion capsule. I'd, I'd rather have a lander, to be honest. Maybe we should have ditched the Orion capsule and just went with the lander. But anyway, after we get the lander back eventually, uh, we will have to transfer back to Earth from Mars. And then reaching Earth SOI, we're going to have to capture again into a high Earth orbit. And then at that point, Orion should launch to the mission and bring the crew back home. That's the basic mission plan. And of course, in high Earth orbit, we would then refuel the mission and then it'll be ready to go again. That's the idea. So a sequence of four burns, basically, but we end up doing a whole lot more than that. At this point in the video, we had gotten to a Mars-like orbit and we were doing a burn to try and get back home to Earth. And we we're in the middle of that burn. You can see it taking quite a long time. But of course, we're going to end up being off and need to do other burns in order to adjust. So after that main burn, you can see the closest approach distance. At least it's showing a marker. That's nice. 
so we can tweak it, but it still costs a lot out here in solar orbit. So that's a pain, but at least we seem to have the Delta V, and that's the good thing. So here I'm fine tuning the approach, but even then it's not going to be perfect. Once we get to Earth, it seems like we need to do about 500 meters per second to capture into orbit. And so far the Delta V looks good. That was the main thing we were trying to test with all this, is whether I actually packed enough Delta V to do all these burns. The fact that we didn't actually get to Mars only helps our estimates in that Mars would, you know, assist us because of the Oberth effect in getting into orbit around it and breaking orbit as well. So the fact that we didn't actually reach Mars means that we have a little bit more leeway. Now there is another factor that's coming up that also leads me to have to revert, and that's that we have misconfigured tanks. The Xenon tanks, the main Xenon tanks that we brought up, seem to have two modular fuel tank modules in their configurations, and the reason for that is because Real Fuels is adding one, and Realism Overhaul is also adding one. So they're duplicating the effort, and that should not be. So what ends up happening when they do that is that after the fuel gets depleted to a certain extent, the tank ends up with negative mass. With negative mass, as we'll see as we get to uh, our Earth periapsis, it basically makes the ship immobile. We can't turn, we can't apply thrust in any way. So I'm beginning to notice that situation here, as I've set Smart ASS to go retrograde, but I didn't notice it turning, that's why I have far up again. I wanted to see if uh, it was actually turning, and it wasn't. And that's because we have one tank with a negative mass here. Um, it goes to a maximum of negative one, well, minimum, I guess, of negative one ton. So I've corrected that in the configuration. I basically removed the RO attempt to add a modular fuel tank and kept the one from real fuels. And these are near future propulsion tanks. You can see I'm trying to use the methane oxygen engines now in order to slow down and do the burn because we really need to get into orbit now, now that we're at periapsis, but it's not giving me any delta V because of this problem. So yeah, this was a bust, but at least I was able to verify that we had enough delta V. Well, except I'm going, uh, we're calculating the delta V's based on those weird negative mass tanks, but I anticipate that having readjusted it and making sure that it doesn't go into negative mass, those tanks are now going to be okay. Also, taking a look at it, after I did the fix, it seems like it fixed it for this craft already in flight. So, presumably if I revert to when it was around the moon, it'll get fixed and we can just proceed without like taking off the tanks and putting new ones on. Still, I think it would be prudent if I pack a little bit more methane and oxygen for this mission, because especially with the maneuvers to break orbit around the moon, and in order to make orbit around the Earth again, those are timely maneuvers that have to happen relatively quickly. And I would like to use the methane oxygen engines for those. So I'll contemplate another shuttle mission to send up an extra methane oxygen fuel tank for the mission. Maybe an extra xenon tank as well, I'll think about it. But for now, this is our situation. I fixed the problem that is uh, preventing us from making Earth orbit again. Tragic, after spending like three hours the sequence of ion engine burns, but we'll hope to do better in the future. So, on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.